Hi guys, Jennifer here, and thank you for joining me today. I am creating a shabby chic stick pin clutch. I'm using the Opulent Lace Nest Kit from Ulala La Vintage Treasures. I am also creating a nest in another video, but in this video, I wanted to put together with this beautiful pink shabby chic fabric, um, a little stick pin clutch so I can gift some stick pins to a friend if I wish. Anyway, this beautiful tool ruffled trim here, I'm adding to the top of the bag. I just love this pink and cream and white. It's very pretty and I love the muted colors. So I think that looked really cute on there. And Doreen also included this beautiful vintage fabric, this piece here that has sequins. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just love that it fit perfectly right at the top of this. It was perfect. And it gives a nice little bit of sparkle. If I get a handbag, I, it's got to have some sparkle on it, you know? This is quite a simple project, but it'll get you started and hopefully you will make one of these and share it with me. I love to see your projects and when people tell me they're inspired by what I made, oh, it just melts my heart. I don't know. I just feel like, okay, all of this is worthwhile. So I must have changed my mind a million times on what I was going to do on the front of the bag. I don't know why. Um, I really thought this looked pretty too, but I, it did not end up with this. But that tattered doily, tatted doily, is so pretty. Now this tatted trim is so beautiful. I had to make that a focal point here on the front of the bag. Or the clutch, I keep calling it a bag. It's a little handbag, little clutch. I just thought this trim totally made the the clutch it was just so beautiful what an um, artwork I think tatting is I can't imagine I wish that I could do that but I surely can't <laughs> So I thought it needed a little bit of a lighter trim underneath. So I added this scallop lace here. Now the, this trim here is a trim that my friend Kat shared with me and she is Lolly Thimble here on YouTube. She has an Etsy shop if you're interested. Um, I just, she gifted me these and I thought that it was perfect for a little pocket in here.
I was just finishing the edge a little bit so that it didn't look unfinished. Instead of the glue gun there, I'm using the beacon glue because you can't see it through the fabric. Now to finish off the edging there at the bottom, I'm adding um, this trim that Doreen had in the kit and I thought it wrapped around perfectly. I added some ribbon to the center of it to finish it off. It's, it's a super cute trim. that I had in my stash. I wanted something fancy in here and something to kind of decorate the edges there. And here is that shabby fabric that I'm using to make a little rosette using a straight, oh, I forget what that's called, straight stitch, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not a seamstress, so I just am sewing the side there to make, make it into a little circular shape, and then I'm adding some more appliques around the edges just to kind of frame the stick pins that I'm going to add. I love to cut up my appliques to make them you know, go farther. I'm just layering up the pieces a little bit to have some interest on the sides there. simple and quick project that you can put together and using Doreen's kits just make crafting so easy because you have everything you need. You can just add a few bits from your stash, stash if you wish and it just all comes together quickly and easily. I also created this little tag with some chipboard and some paper 
and then I added this cute little bow to the top. You can gift buttons or laces and tuck it right in the pocket there. Or you can write a little message to your friend. Now I'm adding the felt here with some trim that I had left over from trimming the outside of the purse or the edge of the purse and uh, we'll attach this to the inside. And tucking it into the little pocket there will keep it held down when I add the stick pins. I decided it needed something else, so I am going to add some trim to finish off the edges. This will give it a nice finished edge and it will give it a little bit of weight to hold down the stick pins. Now I had some little bits of flower applique left over. So I decided I could go ahead and add it to finish this off a little bit, give it some decoration on the corners. Here we go guys, I'm changing up the front again. <laughs> I just couldn't make up my, my, my mind on that. But I wanted to include that shabby chic fabric. <laughs> so cute. And there's that crystal that I just wanted to use so badly for the front of this. But it just wasn't hanging properly, so even though you see me attach it here, I change it again. <laughs> Such a gorgeous crystal piece. I'm going to have to find the perfect thing to put that on. So there you go guys, my final finished piece. It turned out so cute. It's adorable, it really is. And it's a quick, easy project. So 
If you are interested, I would love to see what you make. Let me know what you think and leave a message in the comments below if you, if you wish. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed another tutorial. And I will be back soon with my next project. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.